Hi, we're gonna review Laundry Alternatives Silk Luxe with UV Light. I got the yellow one. I wish that if they had a purple one, I would get the purple one, but this color is fantastic. It's cute, it's kind of almost a limey green. Number one, out the box, very cute. Took a while to get here, but things are, if this is around the time period for March, April, May, hopefully not June, 2020, you know what we're going through. We're staying at home, shelter in place. Laundromat, don't wanna go there, don't wanna be around people and their dirt, okay? That's the last place I wanna be. I almost think that's kind of worse than the hospital. I got my laundry done, which can add up, but I don't mind supporting local businesses. However, we do not know the financial, what's gonna happen in a couple months financially. So I wanna just tuck away a little bit of money, you know, that I would be spending getting my clothes washed. You know, I'd wanna tuck that money away uh, for whatever is gonna happen. Um, I mean, I, we don't know. So I decided to get a portable washing machine with a UV light, kills all the little bacteria, kills everything. Laundry mount that I went to, they actually have this as well, and they have ozone, which is really cool. Um, if you don't know, UV light creates ozone, which kills all the back. It kills the bacteria in its dead in its track, dead in its tracks. Okay. We love this washing machine. It's small. It's cute. It's probably my favorite thing that I purchased this year. Um. Uh, I'll tell you why. It washes things that, it gets dirt out of stuff that I don't think I could get dirt out of. It doesn't perform miracles, but. <clears throat> every time I, every time I use these maker cloths, they get a little dirty. Um, and the dirt kind of sticks inside of them and it can be really gnarly looking this as you can see doesn't have any of the gnar oh shit excuse my hair this doesn't have any of the gnarly dirt patch i mean there's some stains in it because i've washed this these things are great makers cloths okay microfiber cloths um <coughs> excuse me um allergies Okay, let me let me in front of a window uh it's a little windy out so i'm getting a little cough but anyways i was i've been cleaning and this gets dirt on it it the noise come out even if i wring it out whatever can't clean one wash makes me feel very sold on this um i'm a stain goddess and i love when things come clean uh I would say this washing machine gets a 9 out of 10. The only qualm, my two qualms are, number one, wish this stuff came out drier because it takes a while to dry. And also, I wish I knew when to put in fabric softener. So my clothes wouldn't get crunchy. That's all. Those are my two things that I don't really care about. You know, I don't care for everything else. It's fantastic. It's a wonderful machine. It's about the about regular cycle, about, mm, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. Um, sometimes I rerun it. I, re, I run the spin cycle again. So that makes about 50 minutes. Um, it washes very quickly um you know there's no it's not complicated it's very easy to use it's super cute it makes these little songs when things are done i'm sorry but i you have me sold with that you know it's better than that noise it's got a little doo -doo 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 -doo. i love it it's so cute um and it's it fits great my things, if you're considering this, if you have a lot of heavy duty stuff to wash, 
You're gonna have to take that stuff to the laundromat. Okay, you got big thick blankets. These are still going to the laundromat. My uh, big mink blanket. This is going to the laundromat. Uh, coats, anything like that. Blankets, that has to go to the laundromat or wherever you take large items. Um, everything else you can do in there. Socks, panties, towels, pillowcases. I washed my top sheet in here. It came out so clean and fresh. It's silky, I love it. Um, and it dried within a few hours. It var That's the thing, it varies uh, on the material, how long it takes to dry. Um, this is cotton. I think it's like Egyptian cotton. It didn't take that long to dry. Um, I have a pair of pants that are like, they're like genie pants. They're very thick material. Those took a while to dry. Uh, if you have a dryer, this washing machine, you need this. There is a little, there is a beautiful hummingbird and a bunch of dogs whining. It's because there is any time there's some going on, I don't know, it's funny. They've stopped. Anyways, um, yeah, 10 out of 10 for the, 9 out of 10 for this. I love it. I think if you're on the fence, measure your space, make sure you can fit it in there. Make sure you have an extra few inches for the outlet or the inlet, the inlet tube that you, the washing, the whatever the, the inlet hose, you want to make sure you have enough room for that and for the washing hose and be able to open it up. Um, other than that, I have following, I have my own use of it right here. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you, Laundry Alternative. I love it. Your customer service is great. And I hope that this kicks it into gear and more people know about this so we can all have little hacks for this because I would love to build a community of people that love their Silk Lux Generation 2 with the UV light. I got the yellow. What'd you get? Got any questions? Hit them down below. You got any concerns? Hit them down below. Have a great day and God bless you. Roll that beautiful laundry footage. Boom. So here is my Silk Lux, uh, Silk Lux Laundry Alternative uh, Portable Washer. And let me just tell you, you can't tell how beautiful this thing is. I just unboxed it. Um, took a little bit of some time. It was worth, it's worth, I feel like it'll be worth the wait. Look at this cute, cute cover, the cute lid. And then you got this. And I already took the manual out just to see. It came with this like weird little plastic piece. And then there's the tub. Um, and my detergent box. Well, that's cool. The little detergent box there so it's just in this box I don't know why it's kind of packaged weird but looks good so far hopefully it's not bent up but we'll see it's a very the cute box thing. comes off by you just lifting it because it's got these little strappies so when you take those off you get um it comes right off, but they should have padding. Doesn't look like it was bent up though. So I'm just recording just to see, you know, see how it is. Okay. So it came with this on the very top as well. You got that. So it's, I guess you got to fix this on there. So I set it up by ma making sure that I have 
this because as you can see I have as you can see I have a regular regular sink so what you want to do is pop this off okay and then without any washers it does include washers but you don't need them if your threads on the inside like that if it's on the outside you need the washers if it's on the inside you don't so what you do is you take this little bad boy off by doing this. You need to do this and you need to tighten that in there. Make sure it's nice and tight. I don't know how to make sure it's tight enough. Um, there we go. Okay. So and then you press this little thing down, the connector down, and then you kind of stick it in there. And then since this is a hot load, I'm going to go ahead and run the hot. Now, I don't know what's going on with my sink, but it's being a little bitch. So um, I want to make sure that it is running before you start so that's how you connect it and then i put just put this um drain hose right down my drain here and it's just easier makes less of a mess um and then you plug in you plug in this cord here it's got a pretty long cord which is nice and then we're just gonna go ahead and start it up so i have my laundry detergent ready to go and my clothes loaded up. So I lift up the lid here. It does, it does stay up on its own. And then you pop this. I just have this little thing, I need to take it off. Um, and I just load in the detergent into the little spigoty spout thing. And just pour it about a tablespoon and then close that and then let it gentle close here and then I turn it on so easy because a cute little song I'm gonna keep it on medium because there's not very much in there um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and press make sure I got my everything lined up and then I press start and Bob's your uncle.